uh, our, our meeting for last month. Uh, first presentation will be P48921. Uh, it's a resolution honoring Chuck Peter uh, by uh, Bob Loverich. And Scott Bendett, and any other legislators that want to be part. And I would hope that Mr. Peter would come up as well. Yeah. Here you go. <clears throat> First of all, on behalf of the legislature, Chuck, we, uh, we, we had the pleasure to work with you. And um, your insight and your uh, opinion and knowledge of, of uh, what we've been dealing with has been um, very important and um, very useful to us, and we, we're going to miss you as you're leaving, but we want to congratulate you on your new position as a town supervisor out in Skodak. But we have, um, we have something for you. We have a resolution commending you, the Honorable Chuck Peter, for your distinguished service to the residents of Rensselaer County. It says, whereas it is the sense of our unique society to recognize the contributions and achievements of the citizens of Rensselaer County, we praise the career of a man whose example has enriched the lives of his residents in the county of Rensselaer. And whereas Chuck Peter has faithfully served on the Rensselaer County Legislature, and whereas during this time on the legislature, Chuck Peter served with distinction as a member of both the aging and environmental committees. And whereas Chuck Peter has displayed an unwavering commitment of dedication to the betterment of the quality of life for all residents of Rensselaer County, serving well his constituents from legislative district number four, which is Skodak, Sand Lake, and Nassau. And whereas first appointed to the Rensselaer County Legislature in June of 2018, Chuck was elected in November 2018 special election. He has contributed greatly through his efforts and dedication and has worked to improve and maintain county services relied on by Rensselaer County residents. And whereas Chuck Peter has proven himself to be a forthright, devoted member of this legislative body and his presence will be sorely missed, now therefore be it resolved that the Rensselaer County Legislature does hereby gratefully acknowledge Charles Peter for his distinguished conscientious and faithful service to the residents of Rensselaer County and joyously extends to him best wishes for his future endeavors. Chuck, thank you so much for going to miss you. I'll keep it brief so we can get out of here tonight. I just want to thank everyone and uh, our colleagues across the aisle as well. It's been an interesting pleasure to get to, to work with all of you and uh, Hopefully, we have achieved some good things together. So look forward to working with you in the future and just in a different capacity. Thanks. All right. Yeah, Chuck. Chuck, you didn't give me a chance to talk, but I just want to let you know that, uh, <laughs> that uh, you know, Coming in uh, midterm or, you know, after the regular election, you know, normally most legislators or anybody just coming in with a, with a herd of cattle that we have here would be sitting back and see which way they're running and get to know everybody a little bit better. Uh, I can say that uh, uh, you come in here and you were just, uh, you had your, 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 you had a mindset of what you were going to do, how you were going to do it, and any decisions you made was based on you know, just practical instinct and law. And uh, I respect the, the work that you brought to this legislature body. In a short period of time you were here, you've influenced a lot of resolutions as well as a lot of legislatures in making the decisions they made. So thank you very much. Yeah, oh yeah. We're gonna have to go down to Skodak just to get a pie now and attend a meeting. Uh, next we have a presentation. Uh, uh, for myself, thank you. It's P48721 by the Honorable Kelly. And uh, I would ask that uh, Bonnie and uh, Gia come down as well and uh, stand with me. And 
any other legislators in the This is our cheerleader, right? Yay. <laughs> Hi, guys. So this is an honor for me um, to be able to present this resolution to our good friend and our leader um, who I've had the privilege of working with for, I don't know, 11. Yeah, it seems like forever, Mike, but um, just a, a gentleman, um, when I first met Mike, he was still working on the railroad. And um, there were times when he was called away for work for different emergencies. But Mike always made time to be able to be on the phone during caucus um, as to never miss a meeting uh, or anything that was going on with the legislature. So um, it gives me a great honor to be able to read this and this is a resolution commending the Honorable Michael Stammel for his distinguished service to the residents of Rensselaer County. Whereas it is a sense of our unique society to recognize the contributions and achievements of the citizens of Rensselaer County, we praise the career of a man whose example has enriched the lives of the residents in the county of Rensselaer. Mike Stammel has faithfully served on the Rensselaer County Legislature and during his tenure on the legislature, Mike served with distinction as a member of several committees, such as personnel, planning, public works, aging, and most recently, budget and finance, and rules and legislative operations. Mike served as the chairman of the legislature from 2018 to 2021. And whereas Mike Stammel has displayed an unwavering commitment of dedication to the betterment of the quality of life for all residents of the county and serving well his constituents from legislative district number six, the city of Rensselaer. First elected to the Rensselaer County Legislature in November of 2001, Mike served for five terms from January 2002 to December 2021 and has contributed greatly through his efforts and dedication. He has worked to improve and maintain quality county services relied on be, by Rensselaer County re residents. He has sponsored resolutions that have enhanced emergency services that supports the county sheriff, probation, Rensselaer City Police and Fire Departments, including tools, communication equipment and training, with funding provided by state and federal grants. He has also ensured the full senior services continue in the city of Rensselaer. Mike Stammel has proven himself to be a forthright devoted member of the legislative body and his presence will be sorely missed. And now therefore be it resolved that the Rensselaer County Legislature does hereby gratefully acknowledge Mike Stammel for his distinguished conscientious and faithful service to the residents and joyously extends to him our best wishes for his future endeavors. And as everyone knows, um, Mike was successfully uh, reelected to the city of mayor, uh, the city of Rensselaer as mayor. Um, Mike has never backed down from a fight, whether it's uh, here in the legislature with his strong beliefs and what he, he felt for the, the citizens of uh, Rensselaer. Um, I've never seen anybody, maybe besides Harry for the city of Troy, who really truly cares so much about the residents of the city that he represents within Rensselaer County than the residents of Rensselaer. Um, he has been an outspoken advocate for his seniors. He loves the seniors very much and um, that has certainly, certainly been proven by the events and different things that he, is, he has sponsored um, and he has supported the Senior Center in Rensselaer. Another thing that Mike has really done um, 
has been a, a, a outstanding citizen to the kids in Rensselaer. Um, Mike always talks about his humble beginnings as a kid, and I don't think he ever forgot that. And the effort and um, different programs that he put into place in Rensselaer for the, for the children, uh, for the youth of Rensselaer, um, cannot go unnoticed. So Mike, it's an honor for me to be able to do this. I know some of the other legislators want to talk, but um, I know I have big shoes to fill um, with you leaving, and I, I appreciate all of the support and the mentoring that you gave me throughout the years. So thank you very much. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Ken, you want to say anything? Well. Bob? Yeah, I, I, I just like to say I'm one of those guys that's certainly going to miss Mike. You know, he's surely going to be missed from here. I know he's lead it in, leaving it in good hands here, but uh, still, you know, Mike, I never even knew Mike till he came here, uh, country boy and a city boy getting together here, I guess, but uh, uh, Mike's, uh, he's a kind of, is not as, just as a member, but as a leader, and he's really I don't think I've ever called his phone number that he hasn't answered, and if he hasn't answered, he calls me back in a few minutes. So, I mean, that, that's, it's amazing, a guy as busy as he is, he gets back to you, he goes over everything, your concerns, he'll meet with you, and uh, as I said, Mike, I'm going to miss you, but you're not going to be far away. So. No, I'm going to miss you, Ken. All right? That's, I really am. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate it. Uh, I'd just like to say, um, Mike is, Mike is not only our leader in our legislature, but he's my friend. Um, we, um, if there's anybody in the legislature that I've conf can, uh, confided in more than anyone else, it's Mike. We go to breakfast periodically, we just call and we meet and we talk about things because it's good to try to understand what's happening and get through some issues before you get to the floor. So. Um, I know he's, he's not too far, and we're still going to be seeing each other. So I just want to wish you luck as you go on, my friend. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. And I also want to uh, acknowledge Bonnie, certainly you guys. Um, thank you for sharing him with us for so many years. It's going to probably be nice to have a little bit more time with, with Mike, but um, we also want to thank you, too. So, Mike, on behalf of all of us at the Rensselaer County Legislature, we would like to present you with this resolution and also with our plaque um, from your desk. All right. Very good. I guess we're going to do a photo right here. Sure, we can do it. Then I'm going to see I can only say that this is kind of a, this is without a doubt a bittersweet uh, moment for myself being here for so long. Uh, and uh, I must say, uh, uh, whether I liked it or not, there was a lot of toolage that I got out of Ken and uh, his experience. Uh, I mean, uh, in some ways he transformed this city boy to, to definitely represent uh, uh, the farmers in this country, in this, in this county. And, uh, and uh, uh, I do recognize him. And, uh, uh, I've always supported those efforts because I believe that there, we need to do that. Without our farmers, uh, we're really nothing but a bunch of city boys. And uh, and uh, I'm a city boy, and, and there's more to the city than, there's there's more to this county, more to this country than just being in the city. Uh, farming is, is a way of life, and it's something to be proud of. Thank you, Ken. Uh, other than that, uh, I just want to say I'm not going to go far. Like you said, I'll be down in the city of Rensselaer. Uh, I'm going to need this legislative body. I think uh, I'm leaving the, this, this body in good hands with the newly elected uh, representative from District 6, Brian Stahl, up there in the back. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be as loud and boisterous as I was, and uh, you might have to wind him up every once in a while, but uh, uh, he definitely truly cares for the city as well. And uh, uh, he is a country boy. He's down from Chatham is where he's originally from, down that way. So, uh, so that uh, uh, he, is, he is a little bit more of the countryside. So uh, uh, I also want to acknowledge uh, uh, Bonnie. You know, uh, she's my conscious. You know, when I start getting uh, getting a little bit astray and uh, think my pants are too big for me or 
or my shoes are too big for me. She definitely sets me straight. Uh, I served with Bonnie on the city council for a number of years, and uh, uh, and believe me, uh, me being a Republican and her being a staunch Democrat, uh, we have some really lively conversations sometimes. But uh, uh, it uh, it's it's it keeps me balanced, and uh, uh, which it should do. And uh, I really appreciate and love you for that, Bonnie. You too, Gia. All right starting all over again. Uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, with that, I am going to need this legislative body. I would like to ask this legislative body to continue its fight, which uh, we started years ago against the Dunn landfill. I don't believe that we should have a, a dump uh, 100 yards away from a, th uh, from a city school district. Uh, so, uh, And I think Brian will pick up that cause uh, that goes up in front of the DEC next month for renewal. And uh, I would ask that maybe we uh, look at another legislation next month to uh, maybe reassure the fight that we were doing right along. And I've had a lot of good memories here with the people that are with this legislature right now and who have been with it. And I might also add that uh, there's a couple of great legislatures I had the chance to serve with whose uh, her pictures and names are up there on that wall. And I respected them as well. And, uh, uh, and, I, and I go with no bitter feelings towards any of the legislators I work with. They're all great. I, all lear I learned something from every one of them. Minority, majority, each one of them. And we've had our discussions and our disagreements, but uh, uh, we, we do what we have to do. And uh, uh, we, leave, we leave each other with respect. And the one thing I can say about those of us who've been elected, you know, it's easy for these naysayers to stand out there in the newspapers and say things, or give us a hard time in the supermarket, or say what they want to say about us. But until they pull their pants up and go out there and start knocking on doors, you know, it's a whole different story. You know, you, you, uh, uh, you put your name out there, and your name is very important. And uh, uh, Ken, as soon as the state police give me my phone back, I will call you once in a while, and, <laughs> and, and you too, Bob, you know, for breakfast. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's a bunch of nonsense too, but uh, we'll get by that. But I want you all to know I, I appreciated working with all the, the county execs that were here and all the departments that uh, make up this county. And they're all great people. Just to see what this county's done uh, with the people in this county that work for us over the COVID stuff in the last two years should impress anybody. And they did excellent work. So with that, I want you to know I all love you and respect you. And uh, I've appreciated working for you. And I'm down in the city rentsler if you ever need me. Okay, thank you. So let's finish with this final meeting that I'm here for. And uh, with that, I'll put on a pair of glasses to hope that nobody sees me cry and, uh, and move from that. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Uh, this is a legislative meeting for Tuesday, December 21st, 2021. Uh, will the clerk please call the roll? Mr. Bailey. Here. Mr. Bendette. Here. Mr. Burns. Mr. Casal. Ms. Doran. Present. Mr. Fiacco. Mr. Fleming. Here. Mr. Grant. Present. Mr. Grimm. Here. Mr. Harrington. Present. Ms. Hoffman. Here. Mr. Leverage. Here. Mr. Petiri. Here. Mr. Peter. Here. Mr. Tessman. Ms. Sullivan Tita. Ms. Weaver. Here. Mr. Wysocki. Here. Chairman Stammel. Here. 15 present. Invocation, Mr. Grant. On a motion, Mr. Harrington. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 
So moved. Will the clerk please call the, the, minute, or the uh, notice for the special meeting? Special meeting no notice pursuant to rule number 1C of the rules of the Rensselaer County Legislature and in accordance with the New York State Open Meeting Law Section 104, a special meeting of the Rensselaer County Legislature will be held on Tuesday, December 21st, 2021 at 6 p.m. The purpose of this meeting is to act upon legislation filed in accordance with Rule 16C of the rules of the Rensselaer County Legislature in the legislative chambers of the Rensselaer County, Legis the Rensselaer County Office Building 1600 7th Ave. Troy, New York. With that being said, uh, uh, the meeting agenda, presentations and petitions. On file. Presentation and communications. On file. Reports of commissions. On file. Department reports. On file. Reports of standing committees. On file. Local laws. There are none tonight. We'll move to index re re uh, resolutions. First resolution, G49921. G49921 resolution, relevying school taxes pursuant to section 1330 of the Real Property Tax Law Bureau of Tax Services introduced by Chairman Stammel. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. So moved. G521. G521 resolution relevying county sewer charges pursuant to section 266 of the county law Bureau of Tax Services introduced by Chairman Stammel. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. Uh, yeah. All in favor? I said I 59. Okay, opposed. None. Um, motion passed. G50121. G50121 resolution relevying village taxes pursuant to section 1442 of the Real Property Tax Law Bureau of Tax Services introduced by Chairman Stammel. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. So moved. G. Uh, 502, G50221. G50221, resolution adopting schedule of real property taxes levied by the county legislature for collections during the year 2022 upon recommendation of the director of the Rensselaer County Bureau of Real Property Tax Services, Bureau of Tax Services, introduced by Chairman Stammel. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. So moved. G50321. G50321, resolution authorizing a contract for court reporting, district attorney, introduced by Chairman Stammel. On the question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. So moved. G50421. G50421, resolution authorizing the purchase of six vehicles, Office of the Rensselaer County Sheriff, introduced by <coughs> Chairman Stammel. On the question. Chairman? Yes. Thank you. Respectfully so. I wish I could. I can't deny or uh, confirm either way. I haven't spoken to the sheriff about it other than going through the committee's process. And I know the committee uh, passed it. So uh, anyone else like to speak in this resolution? On a question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Two no's. Three? Carol. Oh, you're a yes. Okay. 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 It's like an auction. So that's house. 13 ayes and two no's? Correct. Okay. Okay, so moved. P50521. P50521, resolution adjourning the Rensselaer County Legislative Meeting in memory of Michael A. Esposito, introduced by Chairman Stammel. On a question? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 ayes. So moved. G50621. G50621, resolution authorizing the purchase and installation of web-based security software at the Rensselaer County Correctional Facility and County Office Building, Office of the Rensselaer County Sheriff and Bureau of Research and Information Services, introduced by Chairman Stammel. On a question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 
15 ayes. So moved. G50721. G50721, resolution amending the 2021 Rensselaer County adopted budget introduced by Chairman Stammel. On a question. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? 15 so, ayes. So moved. Okay. And G50921. G50821, oh, resolution amending the 2022 Rensselaer County adopted budget introduced by Chairman Stammel. On a question. Yes, sir. Mr. Graham. Understood. Yes, Ms. Dorian. Anyone else like to speak on the motion? I would just like to say that uh, we, we gave you the best answers we could give you uh, when we were back there caucusing. Okay, so, uh, and they, they're as best as we know them to be. Okay, and uh, furthermore, I would just like to touch on the county executive's uh, legal position. Uh, we're still in a country that you're innocent until you're proven guilty. And I think we should keep that up front forward rather than uh, have it lead with the negative aspect of it. But other than that, I think the county executive has done an excellent job uh, in, in serving this county uh, since it's ten, since it's four years ago since he's taken over. Uh, when, I, when, we, when he first came over, we we're, were looking at uh, probably a little less than a million dollars that we had in reserve. Today we're looking at uh, over $100 million in reserve. So uh, we've done 30 C him and uh, obviously with the legislative uh, uh, support as well and help. Uh, we've done close to 75 miles worth of roads uh, uh, over the last couple of years. So um, as, as well as enhanced insurances for the county for employees and, and settled some contracts. So I, I think we've, his office as well as this legislative body working with the county exec have done an excellent job. And, and the bottom line was is that we just wanted our county exec and our other employees that we have that work under the county exec uh, to get a pay comparable to what other counties are getting around us. Uh, we know that it's hard to get people to work now and uh, people are follow following the money. They'll go somewhere else. Uh, we wanna keep our employees as well as keep our county exec uh, in place so that they don't go anywhere right, right away, okay? Uh, as long as they're working for us and not against us, I think it's something to, to hold on to, but that's my opinion just like you had yours. But thank you very much for for bringing that up. Okay, for the good of the or okay for the good of the legislature or on the motion. All in favor? Aye. aye. Opposed? Nay. Four opposed. Eleven ayes. Four opposed. Okay, so moved. It's passed. Uh, with that, it's uh, G. Yeah, G five oh nine twenty one. I'll give that. To G five oh nine twenty one was withdrawn by sponsor. Okay, it's withdrawn. Uh, with that, before we adjourn, for the good of the body, or for the legislative privilege. I'm going. Yeah. Okay, Peter. Just 
case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I apologize for uh, myself and the rest of us for being late uh, for discussing the new year part of this. More important. And uh, we were under the presentation, and uh, I just want to say to you that uh, you, uh, Legislator Peters, and the legislature are best that have been uh, absolute gentlemen and respectful and the place to look like. And I, and I know they have the, uh, the new. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else like to have to say anything? With that, uh, I just want to say uh, I think this legislative body as a whole is left in a good hands with uh, um, Ms. Kelly Hoffman, Ms. Kelly Hoffman taking over as chairman of this legislative body. She'll, uh, uh, and I think I might add that this. Uh, Ms. Ms. Hoffman obviously is the first woman to chair this legislative body. So, second woman, okay. Oh, oh Marilyn, that's right, Marilyn Douglas, way back when. Okay, uh, well, at least the first woman for the right side of the river, or the, the <laughs> aisle, you know. <laughs> opinion again, only my opinion, okay. Uh, so, but uh, uh, obviously her experience uh, and uh, ability to lead is, has been proven through uh, her tenure being here. And uh, I think she'll do this legislative body a uh, great move. And you know, if Steve ever thought he had a challenge dealing with me, wait till he deals with her. So <laughs> it's a whole different story. Uh, so uh, with that, I want to leave, uh, leave this legislative body with uh, uh, say uh, Merry Christmas to you all. Happy New Year. God bless. And uh, always keep good government in your heart. Thank you very much. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion made and second. All in favor? So moved. Thank you all.